Welcome to my corner of the internet. The winter season for anime is in full swing, and among literal titans and other heavy hitters this season, one show has risen up the ranks to capture the hearts of many viewers. How did it do that, you might ask? By making the perfect mommy, I mean rifle bait. Kitagawa obsesses over anime, is super into cosplay, and decorated her room in a way that would put any fedora wearing weeb to shame. Plus, I'm a sucker for rom coms. So watching their relationship blossom and evolve is wholesomeness injected directly into my veins. Like, they had a beach episode, and instead of being an excuse for more fan service, it turned into one of the most beautifully animated episodes in the show, and tugged at your heartstrings with its emotional impact. Now, most of these kinds of shows have the girl into the main character's life by some random chance, but not many of them have the girl literally thrown into his life. Like seriously, no explanation is given for why she just rocketed herself in his direction. But you know what? It, it's anime, so we don't question these things. I know the year just started, but Kitsugawa is going to be hard to top for best girl this year. However, if these previews are anything to go by, she could have some, co some competition real soon. She's just so cool. But anyway, I could spend the entire video just gushing over Kitsugawa, but there's so much more to this show. Don't get it twisted though, the anime is still throws in etchy stuff wherever it can, and with such a focus on cosplay, there's ample opportunities. But hey, that silky smooth flashback was worth every moment. If you know, you know. If not, don't worry about it. But at its core, My Dress Up Doll is a show about unapologetically enjoying your hobbies and respecting what others are into as well. From the beginning of the show, we can see Gojo is really into the craft of making Hina dolls. Maybe a little too much since he's pretty much using them as a replacement for friends. But it's something he really loves and wants to improve at. But as a kid, he gets told, he, told his hobby is weird and isn't something a boy should be into. That kind of stuff can really stay with the kid. And Gojo doesn't really start to open up again until he realizes that Kitagawa can see the same beauty in his hobby and efforts in the same way that he would. A similar situation can be said for Kitagawa and her anime addiction. Some basic boy tries to hit on her and the first thing he does is disrespect her interest. She rightfully tells him off and gets on with her day. Like that's the like that's the type of energy I need from people. Dudes really out here thinking they slick talking like that. Who would want to spend their time with someone like that when they have some wholesome group of friends who are supportive of their interest even if they don't fully understand it themselves? A lot of y'all newer anime fans might not realize, but back in my day, it wasn't cool to like anime. You know how people kind of like hide porn mags behind other books to look at them secretly? Well, that was me with my copy of Full Metal Alchemist in the back of the classroom. So when I see things like this where, where people are doing what makes them happy, I can't help but smile. Another thing I really love is, is the emphasis on cosplay. I've gone to conventions, cosplayed, and took part in photo shoots over the years, and this anime perfectly captures what it's like to feel a part of that community. It doesn't matter if you're doing it because you like a character, or as a wish fulfillment like Lulu does. The hard work and dedication it takes to create the outfits shows how much people put into these hobbies. Cosplaying doesn't care about who you are or where you're from, because everyone is there to celebrate whatever media they love. So seeing everyone so ecstatic as they're trying on cosplays or attending events is something I can relate to. Whether it's a cosmic cosplay or making your own, being able to become your favorite character and bring them to life is an amazing feeling when it all comes together. Then to top it off by having other people recognize and compliment your portrayal of, of that character gives you an unbelievable high. If you can't relate, I think Gojo's realization is a good depiction of an outside view looking in. He may not understand it in the same way that Kitagawa does, but seeing everyone happily come, come together gets the point across well enough. I've always wanted to make my own cosplays, so I get engrossed in, in the smaller details of the process, learning about the cosplay tape, the drawn, the drawn up designs, and how different cameras and exposures matter when taking photos of some of the most interesting stuff to me. To put it lightly, My Dress Up Doll is just another seasonal rom-com, but you can tell the creator and wit studio put so much effort into portraying these characters as alive as possible. Feel good shows like this are a great palate cleanser and definitely needed, especially if you watch a lot of the hardcore stuff. 
it highlights just how important it is to have people in your life you can relate to on a personal level because they ultimately help you become a better person yourself. So, let me know if you enjoyed this show as I do or maybe future rom-coms that you're looking forward to as well. I know Science Types Fell in Love is coming out next season, I think, as well. So, I'm looking forward to that and I'll see you in the next video.